Hello guys, I am Jun and welcome to my channel. For today's topic, we are going to discuss on how to interpret a single bar graph. But before doing that, let me discuss first the meaning of a bar graph. A bar graph is a chart or a graph that represents a categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or lengths proportional to the values that they represent. The bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally. But in this video, I will only focus in vertical graph. You might ask, what is the use of a bar graph? A bar graph are used to display data in similar with a line graph. However, rather than using a point on a plane to define a value, a bar graph uses a horizontal or vertical rectangular bar that levels off at the appropriate level. A bar graph is perhaps the most common statistical data display that used. It uses either the number of individuals in its group, also called the frequency. Let's continue by watching this video in order to learn more about bar graph. Hello guys! For our example, we're going to interpret the given bar graph. Let's begin. So our bar graph has a horizontal axis and vertical axis. So the information in the horizontal axis and vertical axis. So we have in the horizontal axis we have game and in the vertical axis, we have the number of pupils, so the legend. In the horizontal axis, we have B for basketball, S for softball, V for volleyball, and F for football. We're going to have a series of questions. So, question number one, we have, what is the title of the bar graph? So, the title of the bar graph is, our favorite games. So, obviously, it is written on the top. Second question, in the vertical bar graph, what information is placed along the horizontal axis? So, according to the bar graph, the information lies on the horizontal axis is the game. The next question, what sport is the favorite of most students? So, according to the bar graph, the sports that most of students played is the basketball because it has 12 pupils. Next question. How many students like softball? So based on the bar graph, so this is our softball. So the number of pupils playing softballs is 6 let's proceed to the next question what sport is the second choice so based on our graph the first choice is basketball having 12 pupils and the second choice is volleyball because it has 10 pupils. 
So for our last question, what is the total number of pupils who like football and soup ball? So the number of pupils playing uh, football is we have eight pupils and soup ball has six pupils with a total of 14 pupils playing softball and football. Okay guys, for our next example, let's do what we did at the previous example. So we're going to interpret this graph by doing or by answering a series of questions. So the first question is, what's the title of the bar graph? So the title of the bar graph is, water consumed in 5 days. Next question, what is found in the horizontal axis? So, it means that what is the information found in the horizontal axis? So, it is the day. Next, what is found in the vertical axis? So, based on the bar graph, based on the bar graph, the information that we can found in the Vertical axis is the gallons of water. Okay, for our next question. How many gallons of water were consumed on Monday and Tuesday? So, first, we're going to determine the water consumed in Monday, which is 15 gallons of water and in Tuesday we have 20 gallons of water so in total we have 35 gallons of water next what days had the same water consumption so based on the graph Monday has 15 gallons of water and Thursday has also 15 gallons of water. Therefore, Monday and Tuesday have the same consumption of water. That's all guys. I hope you may have learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to like, plus comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until next video, bye!